Okay. So the guys pay for the privilege of dancing with the bride, and uh, the chicks, they pay for the privilege of dancing with the groom. Huh? They pay? You know, like a buck, two bucks. And actually, I mean, it probably should be about five dollars because it's inflation and everything like that. Okay, so once the bride gets the money, she has these pins in her bra, and she takes them and she pins all the money going down. So that way, they got a lot of money, and uh, they'll be able to go on their honeymoon, because God knows we're not going to pay for that. Oh, heaven help us. You know, Rox, maybe we should allow Rex and Adriana to make those kinds of decisions, you know, and uh, while we're here, we can focus on the menu, mm -hmm. okay? I don't know exactly what we're going to serve, but I think we found our caterer. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Carvana about this. Because these cheese things go a little slice of heaven. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. well, this would work. I'm going to have to take this. Um, excuse me. Oh, well, it's a really wonderful thing that you did. Getting Charlie a job at uh, BE. I had absolutely nothing to do with that. <laughs> Now. I didn't. Charlie's a very independent man. He would never stand for my heart strings for him. He got that job completely on his own. Oh. Well then. I think it's really wonderful the way that Charlie has been putting down roots here in Landview and now he's going to be attending his son's wedding. Oh yes indeed. Charlie's really turned his life around. Speaking of weddings, why are you suddenly so good and hot for the idea? <laughs> well, my daughter is going to be getting married. Why wouldn't I be thrilled? Because you don't like Rex. And you don't approve of Rex and Adriana as a couple. And you never will. <laughs> wow. Talk about presidential candidates flip-flopping. They got nothing on you, Dad. Yeah, I mean, what's that mean? What are you talking about? I just don't understand the sudden adoration for Jared. I mean, wasn't he the one that you wanted to throw out of your house because you were so disgusted and creeped out by him? And now all of a sudden you're enamored by him. I mean, like you're his biggest fan. You know, maybe you don't need me to work at BE anymore because you got your genius little brother working there. Natalie. Oh. Natalie, that is not what we're talking about. Natalie! What's with her? Is she all right? We don't really know what the problem is. Well, uh, how was your hike? That was great. Yeah, that was uh, invigorating. I thought I heard yelling. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is uh, just fine. You get your work done? Uh, no, not much of it, really. Well, it's really a shame you have to do so much work here in such a gorgeous place on a beautiful day. Don't you ever take a break? No, no, no. I'm just a boring workaholic stick in the mud. You're anything but, dear. Thank you. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, Phyllis. What's wrong? When did this happen? No, don't. Uh, no, I think I know who's behind it. Yes! Did you see that? You're the man? I just beat the leader of the last level. Hey. You have no idea. I've been trying to do this forever. You got some mad skills, my friend. Thanks, man. You appreciate it, too. Neat. I've never played this game before. You mean you didn't have this game in my age? Well, she went, bruh. No, no, I didn't I didn't have any video games. <clears throat> it's like complete opposite of me. I have, like, way too many. Why do you say it like that? Well, you know, I was just always talking about having everything because I'm Buchanan. I mean, I'm lucky. I know that. You feel lucky too? That's the truth you can? Yeah, when I'm kicking it with you and the rest of the family, I feel very, very lucky to be a Buchanan. It's almost exactly what I dreamed it would be. Nearly perfect. I don't hear anything. He knows what he's doing. Back in position and wait for the signal. Sarah got busted. Me and him do deals all the time. I bought your money. Why should I trust you? Don't. 
I don't sweat it, really. It's not my cash. Wait. I need to count it. All right. I need to see you brought the good stuff. Still don't trust you. The sir didn't say nothing about somebody different showing up. So I'm thinking I'll just take the money and the drugs and go. So that's how it's going to be. You know, like I said, my people will be happy, but it's not my cash.